Wait, 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 wait. What? You buying a wool suit in summer? Let me tell you three reasons why a wool suit is the best thing you'll ever pick for a very, very hot summer. Number one, wool, it is breathable. Everybody should know this, but not many do. Wool is amongst one of the most breathable fabrics they can possibly wear. So you know when you feel hot and there's no escape, you don't know what to do, well, you start to transpire it. And then if you have a fabric that doesn't let any air through, that's when you're uncomfortable, that's when you hate it, versus whenever you get a wool suit, that's the breathability that will solve all of your problems. Number two is durability. Wool is amongst one of the most durable fibers in the world. And if you pick a very good wool, let's say a merino wool, then all of your troubles are solved. I have suits in my wardrobes that have been sitting there for more than 10 years and they still look in mint condition. And that is due to the fineness and the quality of the wool that I made those suits with. Number three, and this is a very good one, wool adjusts to the weather. So humidity levels, they usually cause wool to react. In a very humid environment, wool fibers will open up and in a less humid environment, wool fibers will close down. Same with heat or cold. Wool is a natural fiber and reacts to the weather that surrounds her. I absolutely hate my suit. No way, it's too hot. I don't wanna wear a jacket. No way, what are you talking about, Summer? Don't wear a jacket, it's too hot. If you have ever said anything like that to any of your friends or family, the reason why you said that is because your jacket was made out of the wrong fabric. Now, the wrong fabric is really anything with artificials through it. So if the fabric is not a natural fabric, uh, your suit or your jacket will always be the most uncomfortable and the warmest and just wrong. Let me explain a little bit better. Now, a wool fabric sometimes can have some sort of blend through the fabric. Some blends are more luxurious and, um, and they add value to the actual materials, properties and um, performance of the fabric. So those blends um, are most commonly wool and silk, wool and linen, wool and cotton or a blend of the three cashmere anything that has luxurious property is always adding value to that wool fabric on the other spectrum we have fibers that detract from the properties of natural wool most times those fabrics are artificial fabrics as soon as you see any of those weird names in the label that's how you know that that's an artificial fabric i would say the only artificial fabric that is acceptable within the fiber of a wool fabric will be maybe elastine, 3% at the maximum, just to add a little extra stretch. But even then, we're talking about a small percentage that adds value to the fabrics. Now, going back to the other spectrum, we're talking about artificial fabrics that ruin, really, a wool suit and they will make your life an absolute hell. So let me tell you three reasons why those fabrics are the worst possible choice that you can make now the first reason why you shouldn't get artificial fabric in your suit is breathability artificial fibers most times they are not breathable and they make your jacket a lot harder than what it needs to be artificial fabrics they do not react to the weather like wool does if it is hot or if it is cold all that fabric does is nothing it just doesn't react to the to the weather and if you're hot it was only gonna make you hotter number two any artificial in the fabric might make you think that would add durability to the garment itself and it might seem like it never breaks and never has any trouble or anything like that but the problem with that is that you are basically wearing plastic of course plastic is not gonna break what does plastic do to your skin what are these artificial doing to your skin so Probably it becomes almost a matter of uh, personal health. Number three, it's price. Everybody knows that an artificial fabric uh, beats a wool fabric in the price every day of the week. But the reason why is that the artificial fabric will have a less durability. In the end, have to buy multiple garments in that fabric. Instead, when you buy a wool garment and you look after it, that same garment will last in your wardrobe for years and years. Now, this is the one thing I wish I knew when I bought my first suit. Actually, I knew all of this when I bought my first suit because I'm Italian. 
I lived, I grew up in Italy, and this is common knowledge for Italians. You need to value quality over quantity. When you buy your first suit, one of the main things that you need to look out for is the fabric of your suit. And I would suggest 100% wool fabric. Whenever you value quality over quantity, really what you're aiming for is to keep that suit for years to come, so you have uh, the most durability out of it. The other thing that you have with a quality suit will be an extreme comfort that doesn't really depend on the fit. The comfort that I'm talking about is based on the quality of the fabric that you use. A wool fabric is breathable. It thermoregulates you uh, against any kind of weather, meaning if it is hot, that so will keep you cool. If it is cold, that so keep you hot. And lastly, a quality so it's something special in your wardrobe. You look after it. You'll feel better when you wear it. It gives you confidence, it gives you power, and it makes you feel yourself. So if you ask me, whenever I choose between quality and quantity, 100%, I will always rather pick something of very high quality versus buying multiple things of lower quality. My suit is wool and it is way too hot in summer. So if you hear yourself saying something like that, I can guarantee you the problem isn't with the type of fabric that you use for your suit, which is wool, but it is with the weight of the wool that that suit has been made out of. Wool can come in different weights. So most commonly, wool is measured in the weight of a meter by 1.5 meters weight. So we're talking about more than a square meter and what that weight is. For summer suits, for what can be considered a summer suit, uh, the weight of the wool can go anywhere between 180 grams to 250 grams and that will be 100% the summer weight great for hot weather the next weight of the wool is anywhere between 250 grams and the 300 grams mark now that one is a suit that works all around during the year and the cold cold weather hot weather it will always work the last weight category will be 300 grams and above for that same piece of fabric between this one meter by 1.5 meters. Now that way is a winter way and you mostly wear that kind of suit in cold weather only. Now you tell me, what is the best fabric for your suit?